All right, in this video, we're going to cover tool installation, uh, removing the tool, installing the tool. Uh, if you've been following these videos in their original order, um, you should actually have the Edge Finder installed right now. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, taking out a quarter inch drill bit and installing a quarter inch end mill, uh, because that shows the fullest set of steps that I can for the tool change process. Um, so uh, each tool change process will have almost the same set of steps. You're going to first move the tool from wherever it's currently located over to an installation location. So I'm just going to click next. And my tool is going to move over in this case, it's to the right of the machine, but depending on what job you're, you're working with, it may go to a different location. All right, so here's our tool. Um, first step is removing the chip fan. And by the way, the current version of um, this cut code that I'm using doesn't have images for um, this, these steps. Uh, yours likely will, uh, so it'll give you another way to follow along with what's going on. But of course, you can always return to the video if you get confused. So we're gonna take the chip fan off. The chip fan is just a friction fit, so all I have to do is reach behind it and pull it off, and it came right off really nice and easy. I'm gonna put that down. Next, we're going to put our wrench. Remember, we have our smaller 12 meter, uh, millimeter wrench, and you can kind of see how there are some flats in the spindle. You'll just put the wrench like so. I like to put it oriented in this direction instead of this direction. Um, I think it is easier to work with when it's oriented that direction. Anyways, now that it's placed, we're going to uh, loosen the collet nut. Now, sometimes this may be just finger tight, like in the case of the edge finder, but uh, most of the time it's going to be uh, tightened down pretty decent. And so you're going to need your second wrench, which is the 17 millimeter one. You're going to take hold of your 12 millimeter, rotate it so that you can easily grab onto the collet nut with a 17 millimeter, and then you'll push them gently together. There we go. And there I just broke um, the tightness. So I took my 17 millimeter off. Now I should be able to start loosening it with my fingers, but often you will get to a point, uh, which I'm actually not, but often you will get to a point where it starts to get tight again. And at that point, you will need to um, use the 17 millimeter wrench again to break that second little bit of tightness. Uh, don't be surprised if that happens to you. Anyways, um, we've loosened it. And now we can pull the entire assemblage out. Now, in this example, I'm taking out the um, quarter inch drill bit and I'm going to install a quarter inch end mill. So technically, I don't need to take the entire collet assembly off. All I need to do is pull the drill bit off. I could have left this threaded into the machine and I could have put my end mill back on. And you'll find, you know, you'll, you'll find that it's more convenient to do it that way. But again, for the sake of the video, I'm going to fully take it apart. So I'm just taking off my collet assembly. I've pulled out my tool um, and I'm going to do what the step asked me to do and to remove the collet uh, from the nut. Uh, now, normally uh, when the collet is installed, you can't just pull it out. You kind of have to tilt it to get it out. So um, if I use my thumb to sort of twist it around, there's a bit of a, a trick to it. Eventually you'll find you can work it out. But you don't just pull it directly out. You need to sort of tilt it and then work it, uh, work it out of there. All right. So now it's fully taken apart. Next step is to, in this case, install the quarter inch collet nut. Um, so here's the quarter inch collet that I just uh, took out. I'm going to put it back in. And again, you don't just like put it directly in. Um, you need to sort of insert it into the side and then seat it, uh, seat it by like tilting it and it'll click. That's that's the way that you know that it's, it's set in properly if you feel it click into the collet nut. Um, so we've got that installed now. Now we just start to thread it back onto the spindle. Right now all you need to do is thread it a couple turns. That's, that's sufficient. And now we're going to take the tool that we're installing, which is the quarter inch end mill, and we're going to insert that into the collet nut. If you find that you uh, threaded it uh, too much and it won't slide in easily, uh, just back it off a few turns and then you should be able to get the tool into the collet. Um, you want to bottom it out. So right now it's not bottomed, right? I can still push it in. You want to push it all the way in. And then generally uh, when you're tightening it, you want to hold it um, to make sure it stays bottomed out. Speaking of tightening it, now it's time to tighten it down. The way that I normally do it is by first holding it 
Um, and you know, these, these can be sharp, so be careful with holding them. But um, when you're holding the tool in one hand, you'll finger tighten the nut with the other hand until about the point where you can't finger tighten it anymore without twisting the spindle. And then I'll get my 17 millimeter wrench again. I'll install it sort of like this, and I'll pull the two wrenches apart like this in order to finish tightening the nut. You do not have to go like insanely tight here. Um, like don't try to tighten this with all of your strength. By all means, don't leave it loose, but you don't want it to be uh, like so gorilla tight that you can't get it off later. Um, it's very hard to over tighten to the point where you damage something, but I wouldn't recommend risking it. Don't go crazy with over tightening it. Don't under tighten it either. Just try to find that sweet spot in the middle. You'll get a feel for it the more you do it. All right, next step is removing wrenches. We already did that. Um, and now it's time to install the collet fan. Um, as you'll note, these fans do have an orientation. You can kind of see that based on the shape of the blades. You want it oriented like this. Easy way to tell that is one side has a hexagon shape. You can see the hexagon shape on this side of the fan. If I turn it back over, it's a circle. You want the hexagon shape facing out. And you'll slide it back up over the tool and onto the nut and try to orient it such that the hexagon lines up with the hexagon shape of the nut itself and then it should slide right on and there it is uh technically you don't need to have that fan on for every operation but it doesn't hurt anything to have it on there and so i generally will just put it on there um just because and okay we've finished changing our tool over that's all there is to it uh now you can move on to the next step